He tohu reo Māori. Kwa tsun kino tia. Unfortunately, a really positive thing that we've done, our project of signage and interpretation, which is bringing the stories of Mo'o and uh, just a really uniformed uh, visual identity to the mountain. Um, some people have unfortunately taken a bit of a, a negative stance on that. A few individuals have taken it upon themselves to actively uh, vandalise, damage our signs, mainly targeted at the te reo Māori aspects of the signs. E hia kēnei ngā tohu pēnei, i tēnei kwa paua ki runga o mau wa o maunga. Engari te hanga nei, kaore e whakaitia e e tahi o te hāpori. Some of the vandalism that happens here is um, it's, it's something that we've uh, recently, I suppose, experienced and uh, we, we believe it's because we've been installing uh, signage interpretation of uh, certain parts of the maunga. Uh, we've opted to do that in both the, uh, real and English and sadly there are some people who visit the Maunga who have been scribbling out the real. That's the type of things that we're not so supportive of, obviously. Neke atu i te kotahi mano tāngata, katakahi a korombauau i arā. Me te aha ko te matua o ngā pau nei, he whakaakohitori, whakapapa anō hoki. So it was essentially a, a around about five year uh, design and consultation process to give Moal that universal branding essentially so to give Moal his own unique brand and so you cannot be mistaken when you arrive on site that you're at a cultural and an important site so again I personally I don't know if it's everyone but I view it as uh, giving Moal his cultural uniform um, so you you cannot come here without having that visual understanding um, of, of you're at something special. E mahi tahi ana te kaunehera o tauranga me ngā kaitiaki o mauau ki te whakatika i tēnei take, ko te rāhui i te maunga te tahirau taki. Uh, there has been talk over the years around how we rest the maunga. So for us, the maunga personified, we, we view as a person. And a person needs to rest. And so uh, we have a million people walk on the maunga every year. And so we, we've been considering how do we acknowledge that and how do we rest the maunga so that we pay respect to the maunga itself. So we're still exploring those uh, whakaaro, uh, but uh, sometimes we'll have closures where we have to do some mahi and those sorts of things. And so in, in those instances, we take that as the maunga is resting whilst we can do the mahi with the maunga. Our koro needs a rest. There's so many community members that have a genuine respect for Mo'o um, and, and have that true connection with Mo'o. Um, I, I think um, resting Mo'o is more the way to go to sort of up that respect factor. Um, and the whole project of signage and interpretation, our, our approach was to um, raise that um, identity of Mo'o from what's largely been an exercise place to showing his wider identity, that cultural, that ecological. So I, I think once we can share that with our community, hopefully that respect will follow. Heoi anō hei ngā wiki tata nei, ka whakatauria ai, te ara whakamua. Kiera Williams atu te reo irirangi o Moana, mā aukaha.